What's up guys, welcome to Chasing Folklore, I am George Martinez and today I have some news for you guys. So recently I started a new job and I'm really excited about this job. I'm working with some really great people and I'm going to bring you guys some really good content. But what this means is that I won't be able to post every Monday and every Thursday as I have been doing. But so what I've been trying to think about, what I've been trying to do is that I'm going to actually post every single Wednesday for you guys and then I'm going to throw videos um, here and there in different times but Wednesday is gonna be our time for sure that I'll post videos for you guys I simply have a lot of projects going on right now and I want to make sure that I can be able to still give you guys some really good content I don't want to be in the place where I'm just posting videos just to post just so that I can meet the deadlines on Monday and Thursday and not give you guys good content okay that's enough talk but let's get into the real video let's get into today's video so the other day I was actually watching the movie Final Destination and I started to think about this movie and how, well, how creepy it is. And I was wondering if these events have actually occurred in the past. If there are events where people actually cheat death and then after that something happens where death comes back for them. And to my surprise, there's actually a lot of them. So just as a disclaimer, I just want to say these stories are real. They're stories about real people and I don't mean to disrespect anybody. Uh, whether it be the families of these people or anything like that I'm just gonna tell you guys the facts of what happened to them their actual stories just as they were said in the news So sit down relax grab some popcorn and let's dig down into this really really creepy topic If you have never seen the movies the final destination films I actually really recommend them because they're pretty good They're actually really good films and they have a twist so in these movies, there's not like a slasher or a monster that you're afraid of that's gonna come get you. What these movies portray is, I guess, death itself. But death isn't like a monster that you see or a ghost. It's just like an invisible force that causes a series of accidents that then lead to, I guess, killing a person. Research on real life events that share some of these really strange circumstances led me to actually find a story of Air Indiana Flight 216. The story says that in 1977, the Evansville University basketball team actually got on a flight to Nashville, Tennessee for their match. The team had been waiting for over three hours and after waiting all this time, the plane actually took off. Sadly, minutes after the plane was taking off, it just suddenly crashed into the runway. All of the basketball team members actually died in this crash except for one person who actually didn't board the flight. One of the team members named David Furr was actually sidelined because he had an ankle injury. And then in an eerie turn of events, David and his brother were actually driving down the highway two weeks later and they got into a car accident and they both lost their lives. This means that the entire team, the entire Evansville University team actually passed away. Another really, really strange occurrence is that of a reporter named Jessica Redfield who survived the mall shooting in Toronto. Jessica actually wrote an entire piece talking about the experience she had during the mall shooting and how she actually survived. And this is really strange, especially after you find out what happens after this mall shooting. So if you take a look at the article, Jessica says that she was gonna go to the mall in Toronto just to have some sushi and do some shopping. So she got to the shopping mall and then after going to the food court, she saw the sushi place but somehow she decided to instead get a burger. She mentions that she usually doesn't change her mind so much and she was going there to get sushi so it's really weird that at last minute she decided to just get a burger instead. Once Jessica got her burger, she started having these really strange feelings of just fear, just high anxiety to the point of almost panicking. So she decides to just step outside and just take a deep breath and as soon as she steps outside, she sees a lot of people just start rushing out and they're all screaming and they're all saying there's a shooter inside the food court. And the strange part was that at the end of the article, she's really thankful and she says that she's really happy that she survived and she doesn't know how she survived, but she just had that feeling that she just had to leave. And the strange thing after this, the very creepy part, is that there was actually people who were eating by the sushi place she was going to go eat at and where she usually sits and they were actually found dead, they were found shot on scene. Jessica's story is completely surreal and just the fact that she survived that accident is incredible but things get, of course they get worse a month later. Jessica was in Colorado and in a spine chilling turn of events she went to go see The Dark Knight and yeah, I'm talking about the screening where there was a shooter in the movie theater and he just shot everybody in the crowd. Jessica actually survived the mall shooting but sadly she was a victim to the shooting of the Aurora Colorado Dark Knight screening. These stories are incredibly strange and I'm not sure they are just coincidences or if there is something supernatural about them. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think 
that these are just freak accidents or that there is something out there trying to get these people. Comment down below and let me know what you guys think. But I think the interesting thing about this conversation is that there is quite, there's also quite the opposite of this too. There's people who cheat death and then they just get away with it. There's stories of people who've cheated death many, many times and they've gone to live really long lives. But I think I'm gonna save that topic for Wednesdays, uh, Wednesday's video, Wednesday's conversation for you guys because I think it'll be really interesting to like kind of dig down into those kind of stories and those people. And as always guys, if you guys like these type of videos, hit that thumbs up to let me know you guys like them. Comment down below, write your thoughts about the video. Don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna be posting videos up every single Wednesday. And I guess I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I'll see you on the next chase.